We filmed a commercial for a fashion brand in one single day. We went to five locations and worked with over 10 talent in order to bring this vision to reality. But yeah, on the color grading, as always, I use buttery less to convert the footage from the flat log profile over to Rec. 709. And I used the plus two contrast version. From there, I made slight tweaks to the, the highlights, the midtones, the shadows, the contrast, the tone curve, obviously temperature saturation, bringing the saturation up to bring back those colors, uh, switching around the color temperature based on the scene if it needs it, tweaking the tint if it needed it as well as making some colors stand out. Like in the double dutch scenes, there was a lot of like red on the Jordans and stuff. And so I was bringing that up so that you can see it a little bit better. And then once that was done, on the entire timeline, I applied Dehancer. So the film stock I used in Dehancer is Kodak Gold 200. And it really had a like tremendous impact on the final look of the image. Just like with the base color on it, it looked cool, but just a little too clean, a little too sharp, a little too, you know, normal. And with that Kodak Gold 200, it just like did something special to the footage. I'll show you a little before and after so you can kind of see what it was doing. And then on the other Dehancer node, just, just a little bit of bloom and halation. And on that, the, there's like one node in between of Dehancer and there was just like some compression on that, some extra compression. So those three nodes were kind of putting that final finish on the footage. And then because Dehancer kind of putting that, putting that film look on it, kind of took away a little bit of the saturation, a little bit of highlights, I added another node to kind of bring back some of the highlights, some, some of the color in certain areas back. And I brought up some like certain colors individually also. Yeah, so we brought up some reds and like magenta tones. A little bit of orange was brought back because that was taken down pretty far. Also the luminance of the like reds and magentas and a little bit of the orange was brought up. And then there was a slight increase of the total saturation. And then the very last note that I put on there, and this is something that I do when I really want something to just kind of, because Dehancer obviously kind of dehances the image. I guess that's why the name is that but um, I like to sharpen the edges back after doing that um, because you still get that film look and you still get the grain and, and all that, but you still, you, you kind of get that like HD look on top of it. So I do sharpen edges, I turn it down a good bit, but it kind of brings back a little bit of that pop to the final image. 